as one of the gas pressure lessons that we will learn is utilizing a vacuum pump. So this pump causes a change in pressure that pulls air from inside of this bell jar and actually exits here. And you can feel the air being ejected. This is a very thick walled bell jar so that a change of pressure doesn't cause what happened to the pop can that happened to the, um, the bell jar. So the first thing I'd like to show us would be a balloon inside. So we know this balloon is already filled with some gas. Well, if I place this and I need to, to make sure that it stays at the top, I have just a, a string and then I will place the rubber stopper to hold it in place. Now, when this is turned on, and here would just be the button. Well, the pump, the motor, pulls air from here. It causes a pressure difference inside of here that it's lower pressure, so the higher pressure goes in that direction, and then it's ejected there. Okay. We definitely don't want to block that opening. And so that's why I'm, I'm purposefully making sure that the balloon um, stays up here. So when I turn on the pump, air will be removed from outside of the balloon. And I think we can already predict what will happen, but it's still neat to see. What also is really neat to see is when um, gas is let back in. So we'll start. We're not changing the number of gas particles on the inside, but because the pressure is lessening on the outside. Oh, it's a lot of gas is already entering. Oh shoot, I was hoping that would be um, a little bit greater of a lesson. But still, when I release this, we should, ah, there we go. All right, so next. Now we'll use the vacuum pump for other, um, definitely reasons especially with the chapter on phase changes. So this time of year, of course, uh, the stores are um, grocery stores and so on. We have our, our marshmallow peeps. So what might happen to them? We're all familiar with marshmallows. Well, you know, hmm, what makes a marshmallow so, so different and good? Of course, the sugar content. But also, it's kind of, you know, light and airy. So, if we lessen the pressure surrounding the peeps, I keep turning it because I have um, vacuum grease, and that just helps to, to cause um, a seal between the bottom of the bell jar and then the base um, that it's sitting on. You know what else? I can uh, adjust something here as well. All right. No, unfortunately, they don't continue to grow and grow and grow and grow. But they make it larger. So what allowed for that? Well, um, inside of a marshmallow, if you've ever made your own marshmallows, you um, make a, a sugary syrup and then you whip, 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 incorporating air. If you bite into a marshmallow, sometimes you can see that there's, you know, uh, air pockets. Well, just like the balloon, those are little mini balloons. And so when we lessen the pressure on the outside, well then those could expand. So let's go ahead and let some air back in. Oh, our peeps. And if I... Oh, <laughs> they got really smushed by the increase in air pressure around them. So um, that is um, some experience with the vacuum.